This is the sound of ancient Greece. Well, the sound of a drone heading up into the sky to grab pictures of ancient Greece. But tomorrow you'll have targets there. So I'll have targets on the other side of the road. John Fry, okay. an archaeologist from Michigan State University, is leading this digital archaeology. This is the sanctuary of Poseidon at Isthmia. And it's called Isthmia because it sits on the Isthmus of Greece. Uh, and it's dedicated to Poseidon because it makes a certain amount of sense. This is where the water comes in closest to the east and west to the land. It almost pinches, pinches off the land. Fry is here with the drone, GPS, and a lot of other technology to create a precise map and, eventually, a 3D interactive digital model of this ancient site. To make that meaningful, you have to give it proper scale, a proper sense of distance, a proper sense of the relationship of everything to itself and to other things. And in order to do that, uh, we have to give it proper GPS coordinates. We're standing in the middle of an important part of history. Not only is it the spot where one of the main ancient Greek athletic coliseums once stood, through the centuries it's been the site of battles, temples, and felt the footsteps of countless people and armies on the move. Because I think a lot of things are coming together in a, at, at, this, at this amazing moment where the digital, sort of digital humanities, digital archaeology is encouraging us to be much more open, right? Much more willing to share uh, everything at every stage of the process. Specific location on Earth. Making this research open and available is a big piece of this. He'll take all the drone footage and measurements he's collecting back to campus at Michigan State. He'll use it to bring a model of this site to life, one that other researchers and archaeologists can use now and on into the future. It's one of the most well-known expressions in archaeology, that archaeology is destruction. You cannot dig the same hole twice, so you had better try as hard as you can to keep as careful records as you can. So you keep a field book, you take photographs, you do measurements, you catalog all the things you found, you say specifically where you found it. The idea is, is that you're trying to create uh, a virtual archaeology. So somebody 10, 20, 50 years down the road can get back inside your head and can think about what you were thinking, can almost see the dig through your eyes. Fry says it's part of the new oh, philosophy of research, where findings are open sourced and shared, not held close and private, new ideas from the ancient world.